Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. We are coming to the end of Comic-Con season, right? I mean, at New York Comic-Con just happened. We, we got Baltimore coming up with a bunch of us are going to. But also, we got those virtual ones. We got Skybound Expo coming, which a bunch of great stuff. And one of the big news coming out of Skybound Expo, we originally had the news in, in June, right? But Dan, we got a Lego comic with Skybound coming, right? Yes, Skybound is going to be releasing a bunch of Lego books. And... Um... So initially, I thought Lego was going to make Skybound properties, but it's the other way around, right? But um, um, this is interesting because this sort of deal you would expect from a Marvel or DC, right? This kind of major merging of c corporate conglomerates, like having a little orgy. But s using Skybound, is uh, it says a lot about the nature, maybe the future of the industry. Maybe like independent creators, more independent companies do have a place and... These major, big, you know, the big two are not necessarily the hegemonic entities that we always thought they were, especially if, like, they're going to make Lego comics. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I, that's interesting. And I would love to see Lego sets of Skybound properties, you know, like a Walking Dead Lego set, you know, like. I mean, they, they go nuts. Like, the fake Legos on those. Oh, yeah, they got fake Legos of, you know. All Everything. kinds of stuff. Well, yeah, like, yeah I mean, like a kink dungeon, you know, whatever that you want in a Lego. A whole bunch of stuff. But Human yeah, size. I mean, <laughs> made, out, made, out, made out of Legos. TV yeah. producer from Lego Ninjago, right? It's going to be there. Uh, Secret Life of Bricks, Daniel Konstansky, <clears throat> Haley Wolf, a.k.a. Sensei Wolf. Um, they're, going, they're going deep with this Lego and Skybound collaboration so it'll be anxious to see and they're going to actually announce the, the title of their first lego book at skybound expo you, you know what i can't wait for i can't wait for the backlash when topher puts out a post that says i told you lego books hey i was about to say the same thing i, I wonder what this will do for that star wars lego book oh right? yeah bro I tony's mean, over there he's got a ton of those lego books man. i got i got a small stack myself and mm. i mean i I, I I think it makes it more legit myself, you know? Uh, hey, man. I, I say uh, you can sell just about anything. There's some, there's somebody out there that wants what you got. I guarantee it. Yeah. I mean, there have been sales on that book, too, 55 to 100 bucks. Like, it's uh, no no slouch. Yeah. Yeah, Skybound Expo is October 29th. And they got a bunch of the great panels in there. I don't know if – I mean – I've had Sean Kirkham on this channel. I know Andy, you've had Sean Kirkham on Tales from Flipside. If you're not familiar with Comics Vault Live, they're having a Comics Vault Live on that same day. Pay attention also because they will start announcing the books that are going to be in that Comics Vault Live this week. I try to get some secret details out. They're like, nope, <laughs> not giving it to you. But they are going to start revealing the books that are going to be in Comics Vault Live. They have some other great panels on there. Uh, former co-host of this channel, Jack DeMeo, he's doing a a sneakerhead panel on there. So if you guys are sneakerheads, they got a Skybound sneakerhead panel. Um, but it's a one-day event, October 29th. And you can follow on uh, Skybound.com has a bunch of the details for it. They're going to have Mike Mayhew do a sneaker variant. You watch. <laughs> you think? The, what have they been doing? Uh, is it KRS? Who's he been doing the sneaker variants for? I thought it was M Mike Mayhew that's been just putting them May out. Mayhew. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Hey, it's Andy. like what, what, you're buying you're buying uh, comics with two sneakers on it that just have different colors each time. Yeah, it's pretty genius. And Andy, don't let that one sneak up on you. No. <laughs> hey, somebody told me an Andy uh, dad joke this this week based on Star Wars. Um, they said, "Where did uh, Luke get his cybernetic hand?" From his father, the second hand store. <laughs> <laughs> He told me that on the show. I go, I'm going to tell Andy that. Andy's going to use that within the next 50 minutes. 
<laughs> yeah, our, our youngest came down the halfway down the stairs this weekend and some evening with his joke and he was like, How to how does a bee comb his hair? With a honeycomb. <laughs> and he just giggled and went back upstairs. <laughs> I love that, man. I love that. But yeah, Skybound Expo, October 29th. Make sure you guys tune into that. Another great friend of the channel, Tack Peter. If you guys aren't familiar with the Tack Peter, he does these awesome yes. screen prints, the the old school style. I'll mess it up because I said block print once and that's not the right name. He corrected me for good reason. But he has all types of prints up there. He, he's been doing those Comics Vault Live variants as well for, for Invincible and Ultra Mega. But if you're a fan of that kaiju style art, definitely check out Tag Peter on Skybound Expo and make sure you guys check him out on YouTube. But uh, did you see Brian? He's got a statue. He's I think yeah. it's with Mondo, a Godzilla. Godzilla statue. It looks amazing, man. Yes, and so one of the cool. nicest guys. Make you, you, YouTube, follow him on Instagram. Very approachable, really awesome guy. It, 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 his art is freaking fantastic. I can't say enough yeah. good things about it.